This is Dave Davies from Beanstalk SEO, welcoming you to part two of our series on Google Analytics for the layman. Um, in this uh, segment here, we're going to just briefly take a look at an environment where you've noticed some changes that have happened on your site, and you just need to drill down a little bit further to figure out what specifically has changed, just to avoid scenarios where um, you may view a drop and, and focus that drop uh, incorrectly, or where you may have some gains on your site and you want to go, hey, let, let's, uh, let's actually figure out, is this due to ranking? changes is this due to uh, additional sources of, uh, of traffic, Pinterest for example, or, or others. Um, so we're just going to briefly take a look at where you would go to, to quickly get a, a fast overview and, and some quick information on uh, figuring out uh, figuring out this set. So um, the site we're using here as an example is a, a test site that we used here at Beanstalk that uh, we were testing out for some penalties and, and since this date um, we got hit with it. That's a, a subject for a different uh, a different article um, on that test. But uh, what we're going to be doing here, uh, because it's a henna site and the high period is the spring and summer, obviously for henna, um, we're going to take a look at a period from June 1st to June 30th. Now, as we covered in our last video, it's helpful to look at comparisons of of data. So, looking at different time frames. So, what I'm going to do first is, as I covered a little in a little more detail in the last one, is I'm going to compare this. I'm just going to go with the default period and compare. June with May. So we're going to apply that uh, that segmentation in there. We're going to see quickly, hey, visits were, were down um, in June over, over the month prior. Um, so we're going to quickly take a look at what traffic did we lose um, and is this something we need to be concerned about. So um, what we're going to do first is go in. Uh, obviously the area we're most interested in is our traffic sources. Um, you can see it breaks down into a, a variety of different areas. But when we're just looking for a quick idea of what we're looking at here, and as you can see, um, as we tab through, you can watch up here and the segmentation of dates is going to remain constant as we, as we navigate through. So um, we're going to go into sources and all traffic is a great place to start. So scrolling down the page a little bit further, it's going to start to show us um, which traffic we're losting. So there's some direct traffic that was lost, um, some Google or some Yahoo traffic, Bing traffic, um, and Google Organic. Now, obviously, if we were doing a, an in-depth analysis, we would drill further and further down in our analytics. But for our purposes here, we're just going to drill down into one of them. Um, and I would ask that while you're looking at your analytics, you drill down a little further into every major source of traffic. So um, predominantly, I'm looking at a you know almost 21% loss from Google Organic. So hey, let's take a look and, and see what this traffic loss was. Um, so we're going to enter into Google Organic. Okay, that shrunk down. Going into traffic sources, let's break that down by keyword. Um, so as we can see, it's showing us day by day um, what the loss was over this month. Um, you know, what pages uh, pages for visit, that sort of thing at 2.19%. I view that as, as fairly negligible visitor duration single digits uh, and very small single digits, so negligible. Um, it's actually the overall traffic volume that's of a concern to me. So um, looking at this data, um, we can see that we took some drops here on henna tattoo designs. We took some losses on henna tattoo kits. Um, considering, of course, not provided, not set data is getting more and more prominent as we're going along. So that's offsetting. Um, the individual keywords as it starts to take up more and more of our traffic. Um, the not provided data um, gets more and more um, problematic to deal with. Um, that's a subject for other articles. There's a great article on Search Engine Watch on uh, segmentation and how to view um, your branded versus non-branded traffic um, on on specific uh, subsets like that, where you can you can filter out your not provided using uh, advanced segmentation. Um, but I will leave that for for you to explore a little bit further as as you go along. So um, what we're really looking at here is. Um, noticing that henna tattoo designs, while we've got are not provided coming in here, um, we notice that it's dropping at about the same rate as our tattoo designs um, is coming in at. So um, we can't explain the drop here with an increase in not provided data. So what this is telling me is that we're actually losing traffic uh, for henna tattoo designs specifically. Not a good sign. Now. I happen to know from the from the trends uh, month over month, year over year, that this is a natural. June is just a little lighter than May is, um, as people are prepping in May um, for for you know their their henna businesses through the summer. Um, but this is definitely the key area that you need to start exploring and, and digging a, a little further down, and, and that we're going to be covering a little bit further into um, later components of this video series. Um, but step one, of course, is to figure out where your gains and losses were. What 
what keywords your gains and losses were in, if it is from uh, search that your losses came in, um, and then to, to expand further to take a look at um, specifically um, what, what, what changed to create those environments. Is it like this one that was a natural, um, that just the traffic happens to drop um, during this month and so it's not a big issue, um, in which case I would view year-over-year -year traffic as we covered in our previous video um, and, and take a look at what this trend does um, annually. Um, but if, if all it would uh, normally hold steady, then you need to really start to explore what happened to your rankings um, and those sorts of things. So this is just a quick video just to cover where you immediately go to try and figure out what went wrong um, or what went right on a campaign and, and what impacts ranking changes have had on your traffic. Um, in the next video, we're going to explore how to dig a little further down to see what this does to your bottom line.